Okay, hey, what's up, guys? We got a new segment, Talk of the Town, and today we have a special guest, Big Structure in the building. Hey, no Jordan. All right, so how'd you get your rap name? Like, what do you want people to call you? Like, Leaky G, G Bando Jordan, Big Structure? Like, which one? Bando Jordan. Some females like to call me Leaky, you know? Big Structure. All the same thing. So it's all the same thing. So how'd you get all those names? Like, just like, everybody switching up? Or you feel like you got different personalities? Or like, what? The streets, obviously, Leaky coming to my, my government name. Okay. Bando. They used to call me a lot of shit, boy. <laughs> they used to call me Sneaky Bands on the block. Young nigga always with some money for me, a little sneaky for me. Trap vibe, little nigga. Okay, okay. So, Bando. so where you from? From Brooklyn, Uptown? Best Star, different. All right, so what was it like growing up in Best Star? Like Best Star. Growing up in Best Star, like, it's just like every other neighborhood, you know? You go to school. Just go to school with some guys, you meet some boys. I mean, like, either you get ops, like, either you know the ops from school, or, or you them niggas now, you get a lot of new hate and shit, but you know? Okay. Used to be, you know what I'm saying? Chill on a lot of side blocks, you get slimy on them side blocks. So, if you had to explain what is structure, like, give us a little definition. If structure was in a dictionary, well, it is, but <laughs> feel me, y'all version of it. If structure was in the dictionary, the, like, the definition would be swag. <laughs> like, you don't so got, you don't swag got, is your like, thing. You say swag a lot. Come on, man. Everything's swagged up. You don't got no swag, you don't got no structure. Yes. Give me that structure, swag. Come on, like, for me, people have the structure up. You don't got no structure, you don't got nothing. Everybody know what structure is. They know. Within. Yeah. You have to build structure within. <laughs> within, you know what I'm saying? Develop it. So you gotta, you, yeah, you, you gotta you're develop. not born with structure. You gotta earn that shit. Born with, I was, we was, I was born with structure. Me and JJ and them boys are to, totally right. different type of boys, you know? True right. rude boys for me. <laughs> we was born with structure. Okay, okay, okay. So how did you meet all the structures? Like, did y'all grow up together or? Man, I'm back, y'all buddies. We grew up, same schools, played in parks together. Them, them my guys. Yeah. Okay, so y'all all grew up together. Yeah. So, um, so growing up, listening to music, who was you listening to back in the day? Like growing up, who are some influences? For some reason, I'm gonna show love to Soldier Boy because I see him asking for a lot of love now. We dead ass was 10, 10 years old in the backyard doing that nigga dance for me. I Fuck him, but you know, the boys, you know, Drake Wayne, the boys, you know. My pops love Biggie, so you know, I was trying to tap it, but I was in the back of the car before I could remember my age singing 50 Cent songs. Yeah, I'm about to say 50 Cent was one of them niggas too. Shit like that. Okay, so what makes you choose a drill beat when you do a music? I used to write all type of different, you know? I feel like I'm going to write for a lot of niggas when I really get to where I'm supposed to be. So you wouldn't mind writing for other niggas? I mean, for that fettuccine, because <laughs> I'm going to have niggas saying that shit. And flowing that shit. I got it instead, but you know? Cause you I know, stuck to the drill because that's what sounds best. Like, for me, that's what I sound part of me. Okay, now you go shit. Because a lot of people say, like... My voice and shit. You, you, people, they, people been jacking your swag. People been jacking your originality. So what do you got to say about all that? You agree? They're paying attention. <laughs> They're paying attention. It's like, it's like, for me, even, you can't find no nigga sound like me. Niggas might try, but you know, and then every time I make a track, it's going to be a different flow. So you can still that old flow, and here come that new shit. <laughs> yeah, so what was memes going around saying, like, Leaky finally getting the recognition he deserves? What do you think? Yeah. I mean, A little bit, a little yeah, bit more than before, like... Yeah, shout out Rap Cap, all them boys. That's what they talking about, really, like, for me. But niggas know what's going on, but a lot of people be in tune, but, you know, a lot of people don't, for me, act like they, they know. Niggas recognize. Yeah, they recognize. But Niggas they, know, but they don't, they don't show that love. That's what they, they, so they, they want to like, see me get that love is what they mean. They, you know I mean? Okay, so you feel like you need some more love? I mean, I don't need, what? <laughs> hey, I don't need no love from no man. We working. Niggas know what's going on. That's the thing, but, you know, people not going to promote you, especially even the big pay. not going to promote you. You got to pay for that shit. So when they see me getting shit organically, they... They're going to be on your body. All right, so how do you feel about the Brooklyn music scene? You from the stars, artists from Canarsis, artists from everywhere, all coming up right now. You feel like Brooklyn doing their thing, too much politics. Like, what's your thoughts on the Brooklyn scene? And this is doing anything. Brooklyn is a whole lot of politician thing I go on. A whole lot of, whole lot of cop them. But yeah, 
Niggas doing their thing right now. I'm liking this shit. I'm loving it. Mm. Right. So your tape drop, you got a collab with Stunner. Big Structure, the tape drop, and Big Structure Volume 1 out now. The Structure, go get that. All streaming platforms. Viral, <laughs> debut mixtape, classic. So how did the collab with Stunner come about? Sure, that's Stunner. Shout out Stunner G. Top of Vulture. Boys for me, shorty. Well, shout out Fat Ricky, my boy Ruby, you know? Yeah. You just know people we know, you know? Shorty was working. We just made that shit happen, you know? Okay. You don't you don't really get into the internet beef. Do you feel like people be couch chasing or you don't really be too much on the internet scene? Like what what's your thoughts on that? Shit. People definitely be cloud chasing. They be trying. They be trying to fiend to have a moment to how you up there looking bad or out of character for me. And I easily be getting out of character. I can't act like I don't. So I'm trying to stay away from that shit. You know. So less on the internet, or you just working on yourself? Shit. Because you kind of need the internet as an artist. So. So I be on. I be I be promoting my little shit, my one two and shit. But I ain't trying to be no troll type of nigga. All right, so in two, three shots, we speak on having anger issues and anxiety. Where does that come from? Anger issues? I don't know where anger issues come from. That shit, <laughs> that shit really be like an issue. Like, it sound cool, but I don't really like getting angry all the time. I be wanting to calm down, and when I can't, mm-hmm. it gets scary. But I'm still mad. I don't want to be mad no more. So, so you can I get on mad that? fast? Like, not because I want to. Like, who want to be so angry with? Right. That shit just, I just be tight, like, different. <laughs> but that anxiety, word, that anxiety come from thinking optimistic, like, always prepared for the worst. Think, think, hmm? Prepare for the worst. So out of all the songs that's out right now, what's your favorite song that you made? Favorite shit I made Yeah, what's your out? favorite shit? Now I'm going to tell you my favorite shit, but what's your favorite shit? Shit, I be so I be switching a lot. I ain't gonna lie, that tape is crazy. I've been <laughs> I've been trying to think what's my favorite song on the tape for a minute, just so I can answer this question. You know what lying, that ass. I know you sound lying. I sound like one of them rappers right now. But <laughs> I be watching niggas interview too. Like now I be understanding. Like even when niggas say they freestyle and the songs be so fucking fire. All right, so well, another question you asked: What song you feel like best describes you? Shit, I'm, I'm gonna go with. That you made that's out right now. That's out? No, I'm gonna unreleased. Go, I'm going to go with um two, three shots. Two, okay. three shots. It, no, part, pardon me, the bad guy. I can't be, I'm going to pick four or five. Okay. I make that type of music. Like, we talking about intro on my mixtape. We talking about two, three shots. We talking about the bad guy himself. We talking about, come on, I got, I got all type of, I got too many moods, though. So <laughs> I'm going to pick, like, ten songs. I ain't going to lie. So, um, so, okay, so you feel like, in music, you feel like you improved because I feel like your old songs still hit, but everybody like your new shits too, so where do you think you improved that, lyrically, or what do you think? Sometimes I'll be like, I don't know if I improved lyrically. That made it different, but it's like, <laughs> at the same time, it's like, now I don't write no more, so I'm just catching these flows and these energies, and okay. I'm used to, like, I used to never be... I got the G in the leg. Like, for me, now I got more. For me, I'm, I'm upping the energy on it. One different flows and yeah, all that Yeah, I'm catching stuff. that shit easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell us about your newest video intro. Like, what inspired that song? What inspired that song? Yeah. All right, boom. I'm, <laughs> I start, I'm, I'm in the freestyle Jordan mode at this time, too. Okay. Like, like, now I don't write. Like, for me, like, I didn't believe rappers when they said that shit for me because the song would be so crazy, but... Yeah. Now I get it. It's kind of easier to make crazier songs, switch them flows, hit a crazy beat in a moment. Like it's just be everything be perfect. So I'm in the studio, and I got my producer Jarvis. I did most of the songs on the, on the tape with him. Okay. I mean, um, he must have seen me do the mini man freestyle. And so he's like, "Oh, this what been doing?" He sent me some shit. I instantly heard this shit like this some meat type of shit. Like, <laughs> I said, "Feel me?" I just I just went in there like, whoa. So what um what artists do <laughs> what artists do people often compare to? Or oh, you don't really watch that? I don't really get compared to too much artists. It'd be like that. No, like I think like they be comparing you to Meek and people like that. That's what I think. Of. I don't really be seeing that shit. I just be they be saying Bando different. They be appreciating. Yeah, it. they do be saying that too. Different. Oh. So what's your overall goal in the music industry? Like, what's something on your bucket list you want to accomplish? 
Bucket list? Yeah, bucket list. Two things I am bucket list for the music scene. Shit. I said go is not any bigger, so it's gonna be like little small shit there for me. We go we go step by the step, so but you definitely wanna get there, you know? Like what? A plaque, a plaque, a Grammy or what? Yeah, all that shit. I'm trying to see all that shit, but I'm gonna take it a step at a time. So right now I wanna see probably this amount of views and that. Okay. I would say goals and I ain't bigger. Okay, okay. So you got little goals and then you go bigger for them. All right, so any upcoming collabs on the way that we don't know about already? I wouldn't probably tell you. Niggas <laughs> can't get no, no sneaky nothing. Yeah. We seen Rod Swish, we seen um, Stunna, we seen... I'm giving them to y'all, they coming. They, like, they should know to expect something spooky. I just went crazy. Everybody like the shit with you and JD. Yeah, that shit. Did it hard. even drop? I don't think that dropped. Nah, I ain't dropped that shit. Yeah, see? We waiting. Any that shit hard. One more feature. It was that shit a little hard. He's not trying to give us no feature, y'all. <laughs> All right, so tell the people what's next for Leaky G. More music, more videos. <laughs> Deluxe on the way, man. Deluxe on the way? Yeah, Thank Big Shock Show Volume 1 out now, man. All right, Deluxe on the way. Tell people where to find you, where to find your music. Big underscore structure on Instagram, man. I'm everywhere. Every streaming platform, title, Apple Music, whatever y'all use, you know, that's structure.